It's high summer and we are back at Dutch contracting company Ten Hover. It's been over a month since our last video and a lot has happened. The team has been busy carrying out a wide variety of tasks. Improving fields by cultivating and leveling them is one of the tasks that we filmed. A new milking robot has been installed at the dairy farm. And of course, more grass has been gathered in using the forage wagons and balers. An exciting new machine arrived in the form of this Pluger self-propelled merger. A truly impressive piece of kit. Because so much of the fields in the Netherlands are located below sea level, good drainage is vital. This is partly achieved by levelling fields so water can run away and distribute evenly across the field during heavy rains. This neglected field required some serious attention and all three levellers had to be used to shift a lot of soil in a short period of time. A boss scraper box is used behind the Fent 930 to carry out the rough work, assisted by a homemade leveller behind the Fent 828. The Fent 939 is using a 6 meter wide boss laser guided leveller to finish the top surface and cover the subsoil with the displaced topsoil. After levelling, this Italian-built Salvatici spading machine is used. By means of crankshafts, the spades flick over the soil, as you would by hand in your garden. This lifts compaction and creates a loose tilth, mixing in manure in the top soil. Grass will be sown afterwards. Grass is always on the agenda of Ten Hover, as soon as the first cut of silage starts in late April. Fields are harvested on a regular basis, sometimes up to October. Taking off five or six cuts per season is not unusual. Four Stroutman forage wagons are used, of which this Gigavitesse 4002 is the smallest. It has a 38 cubic meter loading capacity and is hitched up to the newest Fence 718. On this farm, the customer himself is clamping the grass using a Fent 312 and silage spreader. As the temperatures rise, hay and haylage can be made. For smaller farms, wrapped round bales are ideal for making silage. Two McHale bale wrapper combinations are used by Ten Hover. This is the newest, a fusion varier, which can produce a variable bale diameter from 60 centimeters up to 160 centimeters. Large square bales are produced by a Crone Big Pack 1270, again with the Fence 718 in use. This is a multi-bale model, which means up to nine small bales can be packed into one large bale. For smaller farmers or horse owners, this is ideal, as they only require small amounts of hay at a time.
The bales are wrapped using a go well wrapper behind the fence 712. The company doesn't specialise in straw baling, but a small amount is baled for the home farm and some customers. Again, the crone is being used. All knives are being used here to chop the straw as fine as possible so it can be used as animal feed. The Almond loading shovel and Fent 927 with flatbed trailer are collecting the bales. The Tenhover family also run a dairy farm with a herd of 70 cows. One of the brothers is responsible for the farm. A new Lely Astronaut A5 milking robot has been installed recently. This replaces an aging Lely robot. The cows are housed indoors throughout the year and can have themselves milked whenever they wish. This is usually two to three times a day. The robot recognises each individual animal by its chipped collar. Not only is the milk yield logged per animal, but also the amount of feed is adjusted for each cow's need. Our final piece of machinery in this video is something special. Ten Hover invested in a new SIP merger combination this year, which we already showed in part two. Keen to try out another concept, a demonstration was arranged by Dutch manufacturer Pluger for their CM4240 self-propelled merger. This machine was launched at last year's Agritechnica and has now gone into production. It uses two 5 meter wide pickups to create one or two swaths, having a maximum working width of 12 meters. With working speeds up to 20 kilometers an hour, impressive work rates can be achieved. Because the wheels don't travel over the crop, it isn't contaminated by soil, which results in a higher feed quality. It's powered by a 265 horsepower FPT engine and uses the Class Vista 2 cab. Of course, this machine comes with a high price tag, which can only be justified by a lot of hectares. However, Ten Hover was interested to compare this concept with their own merger, which is why the demonstration was arranged. We hope you have enjoyed our third look at Tenhover contracting in the Netherlands and what the company is up to during the summer months. Part 4 in our series will feature the all-important maize harvest, which starts in September. 
However, many other exciting jobs are also taking place. There is always something to do. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any new videos. Thanks for watching.